I can't sleep. It was such a long, tiring day for me. I suppose that I am too tired to go to sleep. And then, too, it is strange knowing that someone else is in the house. Do you think that I'm lonely? I am, you know. But uh, I'm... I don't think about it. I wish I knew whether you were really asleep or just pretending. You are very clever at pre pretending not to understand. I'm not going to get under the covers, but I'm just going to lay on the top, just here, just like this. If you feel you want to make love to me, uh, it's all right. I want you to make love to me. Please. When does a screaming loneliness drown the silence of reason? When do the innermost cravings of a woman tear away the ironclad bonds of her small Victorian world? For Frances Austin, a virgin spinster of 32, it happens at cold day in the park. For Frances, the promise of fulfillment comes in the form of a wet, shivering 19-year-old boy. I'm, I'm talking to you! Come over here! Get you! I saw you from my apartment. I've been watching you in the rain. Would you like to come upstairs to my place, to my apartment, and get dry? She will possess the boy. She will desire him, and he, in time, will desire her. I've made up a bed for you in the spare room. You can stay if you like, if you want to. How much did she pay you? It's like, uh, if your sister here had uh, any dough, she was paying me. Mm, I wish you were my brother. Do you wish I wasn't your sister? I want things to stay the way they are. You can understand that, can't you? I can't let you go. Not now. Academy Award winner Sandy Dennis, superb as a woman driven by a hunger that must be satisfied. That cold day in the park, co-starring newcomer Michael Burns, who reaches stardom in a single performance with Suzanne Benton and John Garfield Jr. and Luana Anders. This extraordinary motion picture demands your involvement from beginning to end as it peeks without shame into the deepest crevices of human emotion. There's no need to be afraid now. You can stay with me. 